Hello, my name is RV and I am a Miracle Air customer. Have been for several years. Um, I uh, did not know how much hearing loss I suffered until I found out and it has progressed. So uh, the need for changing the, the style or uh, number, uh, model number of, of AIDS, uh, Miracle Air has worked exceedingly well with me to keep up with my hearing loss. And uh, what has it done for me? Well, uh, my husband and I are both very, very active in several different arenas. And uh, so it requires me to know what's going on. Um, so the uh, ability to hear in conversations in a room, in a restaurant, or whatever need be, or a meeting it, uh, and adjust to it is, is very significant for me. I remember the day I got my first AIDS. I did not know what I had not been hearing until I could hear it. I drive a Jeep Wrangler, and when I was using my turn signal, the clicker, I could not hear the clicker, but I didn't know I couldn't hear it. I thought it had failed until I got in the car to, in the parking lot to leave where I'd gotten my first hearing aids. And then, of course, as I cruised on home, I could hear, you know, the other the traffic noises and things like that better. Sometimes that's good, but whatever, <laughs> uh, better than I had been able to. We, my husband is an aviculturist, which means he uh, collects and breeds birds and, and sells them. I did not know I was not hearing the birds like I should have. I, they, it had just gone away, and then, of course, now it came back again. One of the things that's particularly interesting, I uh, am a theater goer, a devout theater goer, have been my entire life. And the spoken theater is still not as good as I'd like it to be, but I'm an opera goer. And this is fascinating because in spoken theater, nowadays, most everybody is mic'd. And that means it's an electronic transmission to your ear, so to speak. Opera singers are not mic'd. What you hear is the human voice, um, the only musical instrument attached directly to the brain, and uh, they, there is no mic. And I can hear the opera singers marvelously, perfectly, with my ears set on the right program, and uh, I don't miss a thing. Vanity's not a problem for me, so the, getting hearing aid was never a problem. But for instance, this weekend there's going to be a family wedding. And this evening, I'm going to have dinner at one of our daughter's houses, and one of her sons has come for his brother's wedding all the way across the country with his two preschoolers and his wife. Well, you can just now, right now, guess what that's going to mean to be able to, these children, the, the little girl I've never seen, and uh, uh, she's a toddler. The uh, son, the boy, is four or five, and uh, we can we'll reconnect again and I will be able to hear them. And uh, they won't have to wonder if this old lady can or can't because she can. And so that's quite wonderful. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it, 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 the AIDS are truly that. And if you see them as your partner in crime, so to speak, uh, mm -hmm. then they, they work out great. Mm -hmm. Due to the uh, varied um, types of uh, activities I have, which pretty much happen every day, it, it seemed one of the best uh, devices that is attached to my hearing aid, so to speak, is my Mini Blue, which uh, I can set for uh, several different programs, including using my cell phone, which directs the sound directly to my hearing aids. And I had been using the speakerphone in our house. Um, my family finds that somewhat annoying. <laughs> <laughs> so, the Mini Blue becomes their friend, too, and I use it in the theater when it's, uh, because it is a uh, Bluetooth device, and sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't, and it's, that's up to the theater, not to the equipment, and uh, anyhow, it's been quite an adjunct in, in meetings, um, in church, um, in, in all kinds of social activities.